Hey guys, thanks for joining my tutorial for acrylic portrait painting. Today I'm going to be painting my favorite influencer on Instagram. I'll be putting the links in the description box below if you would like to check her profile out. First I'm going to take some Mars black, some yellow ochre, burnt sienna, burnt amber, cadmium red, portrait pink, and titanium white also there is no color as flesh color or portrait color it will really differ from brand to brand moreover these are just pre-mixed colors that will need some mixing with other colors depending on the rays skin type lighting and reflections if you don't have it you can make it yourself using some common pigments you can make this portrait pink using some burnt sienna yellow ochre cadmium red and titanium white there is no magic formula to make the flesh color. You just need to play around with these four colors till you get the one you are satisfied with. Acrylic paints dry really quick so you can spray your palette with some warm water or you can even use a few drops of glycerin to keep your paint from drying. In my case, I'm going to be using a retarder. It will help me to slow down the drying time. Now for the brushes, these are the ones I'm going to be using for this painting. Firstly, the round brushes which can be used for smaller areas. This is a fillboard brush. It's my favorite because it works amazingly well for larger areas as well as for blending. If you don't have a fillboard brush, you can also use these flat brushes. They're good for larger areas and these small round pointed ones for detailing. So let's begin. I'm applying a base coat of portrait pink, some yellow ochre and titanium white. You don't have to be all neat or perfect because this is just a base coat. Once the base coat is done, I'm going to begin with the forehead using some burnt sienna, some titanium white and yellow ochre. Now a dry brush to blend it in. The value and temperature of the color changes in different locations of the face depending on the location and strength of the light source. Next I'm using some portrait pink, titanium white and a little cadmium red over the eyebrows. You need to focus on blending well if you need a smooth finish. I'm going to be forwarding the video a bit just to keep it a little short. Adding some days above and underneath the eye using portrait pink, yellow ochre and a little more of titanium white. A face has a variety of hues and we know that lips are pink, lipstick red, but the cheeks and nose are often pink than the rest of the face. So I'm going to be adding some pink to the cheeks using some cadmium red, portrait pink and titanium white. I'm also adding some glaze where the light falls on the cheek. If you notice the right side of the face is much darker than the left side of the face because of the light source. So I'll be using some burnt umber, ultramarine blue and a little bit of titanium white to create the shadow.
to add more pinkness to this cheek i'm using some burnt sienna in addition to portrait pink titanium white and cadmium red I'm adding more titanium white towards the nose to lighten the color. And some glaze and pinkness to the chin using the same colors. Now coming to the eyes, I'm using some burnt sienna and titanium white for the eye shadow and blending it really good. Then some burnt umber for the outer edge of the eye shadow. Now for the iris, I mixed burnt sienna with some Mars black. I added some Mars black towards the center to make it look more lively and a little bit of burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, sap green, Mars black and titanium white in the middle. I added some glazes to the iris using titanium white. You can also use a white pen to give more definition. The corner of the eyes is never really all white. It may appear to be so but it's not and if you just use titanium white all over it, it might end up looking like a cartoon. So I've added some burnt sienna and a little amount of Mars black to titanium white for the corner. I'm using a little cadmium red and titanium white for the corner of the eyes and a lighter shade of flesh color for the lower lash line. Carefully defining the features of her face by adding shadow to the nose using some burnt sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine blue and titanium white. I'm using more white to lighten the color.
I'm using burnt umber and ultramarine blue to make the darks in the nostril. some burnt sienna and burnt umber for the nose strings and some titanium white for the glazes. Coming to the lips, I'm using scarlet red, cadmium red, titanium white and burnt sienna. I'm glazing the lips with titanium white and adding a little darker line using burnt umber and scarlet red in the very center opening of the lips and breaking the line up a little bit and making it darker at the corners of the lips. The lips are extremely smooth so I'm adding these lines using burnt umber and scarlet red on the lips to make it look more realistic.
first coating the eyebrows with burnt sienna and titanium white and making the hair strokes with burnt umber and ultramarine blue. Her hair on the right side is really blurry so I'm not focusing on painting individual hair strands rather I'm using a block of Mars black and burnt umber. I'm using burnt sienna, portrait pink, titanium white and yellow ochre for her right ear and kind of letting the black from her hair come a little to her ear to reflect her sideburns. I'm using the same colors for her hair on this side but this time painting some individual hair strands with yellow ochre, burnt sienna and titanium white. I'm using burnt umber, burnt sienna, mars black, titanium white and yellow ochre for her plate. Again I'm not painting individual hair strands but just blocking in the colors and value masses and painting some loose strands shining in the light. I'm using some black and brown oil pastels to create the shadow in the plate since they are really easy to blend. In the end, I added some finishing touches and this is the final result. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll be putting the products used in the description box. Let me know your views and questions, if any, in the comment section below. Also, if you like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel.